let us talk about isolation uh, and why I think isolation needs to transformation. Isolation and transformation. Yeah, that rhymes. <laughs> so uh, for me, I'm going to give you a tiny little background story of how everything started out for me. And that started out after I had given birth to my lovely daughter. And I was struggling with postpartum depression. I had no one. I don't have friends around. I didn't have anyone, not my family or anyone at all. So I was pretty much just suffering in silence, so to say. At the time, I, I lost uh, quite a few friends and it was very painful. So I, I didn't really just know what to do. So yeah, so after, uh, during the whole thing, I knew that I only had me and me to get me out of this whole rabbit hole and yeah i felt it i felt it i was so much deep into the depression i had to ask myself like leo what kind of a person do you want to be uh what kind of a mom do you want to be to your daughter what kind of role model do you want to be you know because the person that i was i was the kind of person who couldn't even get out of bed i couldn't even like just go make breakfast everything seemed very hard for me it's like for whatever I was doing, I had to drag myself and that was really, really painful. For me, my kind of isolation, it wasn't really intentional, but I found myself in this isolation period. So I had given birth and I had gained so, so much weight. <laughs> Only now that I look back at those photos and I actually see how much um, I had gained. But the thing was, I didn't have anyone to talk to because Every time I will like video call some of my family members, they will make sure that they let me know that I'm fat, you know, or that I was fat. They'll be like, oh my God, you, you gained so much. Oh, you gained so much and so on. And all that just led to, <sighs> all that led me into this tiny, maybe not even tiny, all that led me into this rabbit hole and life was just, Life was lifing. Everything was just really hard for me. Um, I don't. I didn't have friends. I lost my besties. I was just. I was alone. I was suffering alone in silence. Um, and yeah, there was a time that I knew something had to change. Lioba had to ask herself, you know, tough questions. What do you wanna do? Where do you wanna see yourself this time next year? You know, what are you trying to achieve? How are you going to get there? How are you going to be the best version of yourself? And, you know, only one thing stood out for me, like God, you know, God will make it possible. God will make a way for me. And again, I realized that uh, sometimes God is the one <laughs> in control. God is the one doing all these things. And you don't even realize, you just feel like, man, I'm losing my friends. I don't understand what's going on. Why is this and this happening? And after I started seeking God more, he revealed a whole bunch of stuff about people. <laughs> he revealed how toxic I was and how much I was into gossiping and how much I was a people pleaser and all those kind of stuff. So he knew that these people were not good for me, but again, I was just so blind. I was blinded by the friendship and I wanted to like keep it. I wanted to, uh, I wanted it to flourish. I wanted it to just like, mm, you know, work out, but it didn't quite work out that way. It didn't work out that way. So yeah, right now from where I stand, I'm, I'm grateful that it didn't because then I, I believe that God did something. So me depressed in just going through life, I started praying more. I started reading the Bible. I don't even know when last I picked up my Bible. So I started seeking God more and God started speaking to me and he started revealing all these things. And I knew that God wanted me to become a different person because obviously he has a purpose for me. He has an assignment for me and he cannot trust me with that assignment if I'm still that old person, if nothing changes. He obviously needed me to change. He needed me to become, uh, sorry, he needed me to become a better person and 
yeah that was a time that i started fasting more and i have never fasted before so i was just like fasting i was hungry there was this constant hunger of just i just want to hear more from the lord i just want to hear god what are you saying i just wanted to be in his presence because it was just so peaceful every time it was so peaceful i forgot about all my troubles i forgot about all this pain all the trauma and so on i i had forgotten about all those things and mind you at the time i was also going through therapy at the same time and yeah and i just felt like therapy wasn't really doing it for me so i left therapy and i just decided to like dump everything on god like i was just like unloading and unpacking on god and like listen you said we should cast all our cares and burdens unto you like here are mine i am tired i cannot carry you know i cannot continue to carry these heavy loads anymore i i, I am done i'm not dealing with this anymore like this do what you say that you do <laughs> and uh, yeah so god came through for me and i'm so i'm so grateful that um he did all that because I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be the kind of person I am today. I wouldn't be the mom I am today or the wife I am today, the sister I am today, the aunt or whatsoever. I wouldn't be that person if it wasn't for God. God really moved the mountains out of my life and I'm, I'm so thankful. And I'm so thankful that he did that. And if you are struggling if you don't even know who you are or if, if you're just like really in a dark place where you feel like you are alone and you feel like you are not heard you are not seen you feel like there is nobody who loves you you cannot even like talk to anyone or maybe you are an introvert you, you you like being alone which is actually very good because then you can just start where you at uh, you can just start right away and seek the face of the Lord and he will come through for you surrender to him surrender to, to to the lord obey his laws and his decrees and he will come through for you he did it for me and i'm sure that he's a faithful father he will do it for you uh i'm ah, I'm, I'm so thankful and i'm not saying that you should um i'm not saying that you should move away from people that's not what i'm saying isolation works in so many different ways you can just like take time uh, you know take time away from your day you know it could be an hour it could be 30 minutes it can be whatever time you desire to take away but just to be in tune with you to be in tune with who god created you to be like get to know you not these counterfeit uh people <laughs> that we are here on the outside just just ask god to come through for you ask god to intervene and he will do it for you he did it for me and i am so thankful he healed all my wounds um to be quite honest it's it, it it's only god it's only god like god came through for me and i'm able to sit here today and just thank his name so yeah that is how god was able to transform my life and obviously in so many other ways but uh, for the sole purpose of making this video very short and straight to the point we are going to have to end it here and I am just I'm, I'm, I'm hopeful that uh, you will take something away from this and I'm I'm just hoping that um, it will change someone else's life because to be quite honest without God we are nothing and sometimes you feel like you need your best friends you feel like you need you know your family to you you run to them first before you even run to god imagine when you find yourself with it or ask yourself this question when you find yourself in trouble or uh traumatized or heavy burdened by life and you just feel like you don't know what to do who do you run to first do you run to your bestie your bestie who you know makes you do stupid things do you run to your bestie your bestie who just like gossips with you the whole time and so on so literally nothing good can come out of that so if you can just run to god first run to god first and god will come through for you because at the end of the day he's the only one that knows your heart he's the only one that has good intentions for you he's the only one that will deliver you and he's the only one that will set you free from even though people might be <laughs> uh, in denial about that i've been in that case where i felt like i needed someone 
to get me out of that situation. I needed to run to a family member. I needed to run to a friend because I trusted what they were saying. I trusted their judgment because I knew that if they are just to say that you know, you have to do this, then I will do it and I'll be fine. That was, <laughs> that was my mindset like for so long. But after knowing God, to be quite honest, uh, run to God first, don't run to people, run to God first and let God uh, tell you what to do because he, he is the only one that knows if the truth be told. He is the only one that knows and he's the only one that really cares and loves you and he's the only one that will ever set you free from whatever you are faced with. So yeah, <laughs> I hope this video was uh, helpful and I am so thankful that you guys took time to watch it. I will be seeing you in my next one and yeah, why not take time to subscribe.